Let's get to Marley with that volatility on global markets, especially with news of all that's going on in Ukraine today. Marley. Yeah, we've been watching this all morning, and markets around the world are reacting sharply as Russian forces invaded Ukraine. Our major U.S. indices are opening even lower today. Right now, taking a look at the Dow, we're down... Uh, we were down 800 points, still close to that number. The Nasdaq and S&P not looking much better. This comes after stocks plunged to fresh lows for the year yesterday. The Dow and Nasdaq both fell for the fifth straight day, while the S&P fell farther from its January highs, now down more than 12 percent. Commodities are on the rise, though. Gold jumped to its highest level in more than a year as investors sought traditional safe havens. Wheat prices spiked to their highest level since 2012. Soybeans notched an all-time high, and corn prices peaked at an eight-month high, all because Ukraine and Russia are top exporters of wheat and corn. Global oil prices have gone sky high as well, and like we warned they could, touching $105 a barrel. Natural gas is also up 6% so far this morning, meaning we'll need to be on the lookout for higher gas prices and possibly even higher electric bills in the coming weeks. Now here at home, and for some good news, the number of people filing for unemployment dropped to 232,000 last week, coming in below expectations. Continuing claims or people who are still filing for unemployment from last week hit their lowest level in nearly 52 years. The Commerce Department also says that our GDP grew almost 6 percent last year, marking our strongest growth since 1984, Adrian. Yeah, it's interesting. You have it's like feast and famine at the same time because uh, we were saying that the agricultural market saw the best year last year and expected for more growth this year. I'll this, we're watching to see if we're going to have a shortage of agricultural goods all because of this conflict. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.